Good morning, brothers and sisters. I wanted to share this program uh, put out by Brandon House. I think it's really important to understand the big picture, where we are going as a country, speaking of America. Um, what Brandon is speaking about is Christianity versus pagan spirituality, being an individual versus being a collective, uh, being a capitalist versus embracing social justice, and nationalism versus globalism and how these two opposing worldviews are battling each other uh, which will eventually lead to the one world government, one world economy, and one world religion. And we see that America ultimately has to be collapsed in order for this one world system to come about. Um, I highly suggest you uh, listen to the full hour of the program. You will be blessed and understand the times better. God bless and Maranatha. Why the, destruct, why the globalists must destroy America to bring down the opposition? America must be brought down to destroy the opposition. And um, we discussed yesterday basically four points with subtitles. Uh, our, our bullet points underneath those, each of those four points. Uh, we discussed these four areas. Christianity versus pagan spirituality. Christianity versus pagan spirituality individuality versus collectivism, capitalism versus social justice, and nationalism, or what I prefer to call patriotism versus globalism. Then under the first one, Christianity versus pagan spirituality, we looked at the bullet points of in the beginning God versus in the beginning matter, or just materialism. Then we looked at the worship of God versus the worship of nature, what we see Romans 1 talking about, they exchange the truth of God for a lie and worship and serve creation rather than the creator. Then we looked at the laws of God versus the law of survival of the fittest. The laws of God versus the law of the survival of the fittest. In other words, man doesn't have any value when you remove God. When man is not seen as being created in the image of God and endowed with certain inalienable rights, man has no intrinsic value aside from what they can do for the state. It's survival of the fittest. What they can do for the state. And then we looked at reward and protect the righteous versus versus reward and advance the wicked. And then we moved on to the next point, which is individuality versus collectivism. Individuality versus collectivism. But individuality versus collectivism. Under that second point, we had the bullet points of the rights of the individual versus the rights of the group. The rights of the individual versus the rights of the group. And then we had individual salvation versus collective salvation or group salvation. Individual salvation versus group salvation. We can't save the earth if we concentrate on individual rights. We have to concentrate on the rights of the group, collective. Only the collective coming together can we save ourselves. Mother Earth, the planet, uh, it's going to take all of us, a harmonic convergence as the New Age has referred to it as. And we must destroy individual rights, individual liberty. Uh, we must determine whether people are of productive human resource and whether we're going to expel the expense on keeping them alive and around. And uh, by doing this, devaluing the individual, they're able to go after their political enemy. They're able to dehumanize their political enemies. Remember that uh, checklist I've given you guys for many years, demoralize, destabilize, demoral, excuse me, uh, uh, I'm, I'm mixing my checklist. The checklist off the top of my head would be uh, uh, characterize, demonize, you know, marginalize, characterize, demonize, terrorize, and then legalize the terrorize. Marginalize, characterize, demonize, terrorize, and legalize the terrorizing. And when you when you don't see people as being human and endowed by God with certain inalienable rights, and you dehumanize them, you're able to then terrorize them. And then you legalize the terrorizing of them. And that's what they did to the Jews, right? That's what they did to the Jews. They were seen as subhuman. They were seen as a blight, a poison. They were not of blood and soil. And so you could, start in, you could start demonizing them and terrorizing them and then legalize the terrorizing of them 
at an individual level. And then, of course, that becomes a whole group 